Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to go over archiving a channel versus deleting a channel in Slack and explain when you should do one versus the other. So we'll start with archiving a channel. When your team is wrapping up a project or an event that had a designated channel, you can archive that channel. Archiving a channel removes it from the list of channels on your sidebar in your Slack workspace, as you can see with these channels. The great thing about archiving a channel is that although the channel isn't open for any new activity, Slack retains the channel history so that members can still browse and search the channel for conversation and message history if necessary. When a channel is archived, members will be removed from the channel if the channel was a public channel. Additionally, a Slack bot will notify all channel members to let them know the channel was archived. All apps that are connected to the channel will be disabled. By default, all members can archive a channel, and it's recommended that admins keep that default setting to allow members to archive channels. The reason behind this is that allowing members to archive their own channels reduces administrative overhead and support. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly show you how to archive a channel. So to archive a channel, click on the channel that you'd like to archive on the sidebar. So I'm going to click on this hashtag random. From here, we're going to click on the channel name in the header. Then we're going to navigate to settings. And then if we scroll down, as you can see, there's an archive channel for everyone. We're going to click on that. So the great thing is Slack prompts you and sort of tells you what archiving a channel will do. I'm going to click on archive channel. And from here, you can see the hashtag random channel is no longer there. If you wanted to unarchive a channel, let's just say you changed your mind. So to do that, we're going to navigate to the sidebar where it says channels. We're going to click on the three dots. We're going to navigate to edit and then click on browse channels. From here, we still don't see the archive channel. So we're gonna to need to navigate to filter, click on that. And then if we click on this dropdown, you can see that we can select archive channels. So we're gonna click on the channel. Then we're gonna navigate up to the dropdown for the channel name, click on settings, and then we'll select unarchive this channel. And as you can see, the channel's now back on our sidebar. So now that we know how to archive and unarchive a channel, I'm going to move on to deleting a channel. Unlike archiving a channel, only workspace owners and workspace admins can delete an active or archive channel. Deleting a channel permanently removes the channel and all of its messages from a workspace. It's extremely important to understand that once you delete a channel, it cannot be reversed. The only time you should ever delete a channel over archiving a channel is if there's no meaningful conversations that took place in the channel. An example would be a duplicate channel that might have been created by mistake that had minimal message history. So I'm not actually going to delete a channel, but I'll show you how you can do it. So if we stick with the random channel. I'm going to navigate back up to this drop down, click on settings. And if we scroll down, you'll see underneath the archive channel for everyone. We can delete this channel if we click on this, just like the archive prompt that Slack gave us. They also prompt you about the implications of deleting a channel. Most importantly, they bold, this can't be undone. I'm just going to click cancel. So that's all I have for this video. The key takeaway for this video is that in most scenarios, Slack admins should archive a channel when it's no longer needed versus deleting a channel. Come exam day, you'll likely be tested on scenarios asking whether you should archive or delete a channel. Because deleting a channel is irreversible, it's best practice as an admin to archive channels in most cases. So keep that in mind on exam day. Thank you all for watching today, and I'll see you in the next video.